research is our second pillar. Um, it's very important. Um, with the lack of uh, government commitment to research specifically on our sector, it was beholden upon uh, us as an industry to work together to, to get um, proper research for our industry. Um, not only so that we could use that as the basis of government lobbying, um, but we could also um, use that as the basis of communicating the size and scope um, of um, what our industry really is. You know, we've, we've seen um, uh, the industry come together through an industry research fund, um, where state associations and our, uh, ourselves have contributed significant amounts of money over around the last couple of years, um, generating $300,000 worth of research on behalf of the industry that we can use to explain uh, the significance of our industry. When we see massive amounts of um, and billions and billions of dollars going to the likes of the car industry, it's because they have a good story because they can communicate um, the economic value of their sector to the industry, the number of employees that they have. Um, we haven't had that story until now. So the last two years, um, through a collaborative approach, we've seen highly leveraged research and results being able to and available for industry participants to use, but also state associations and the national body to use as well. The, the, the government has, for resource issues, pretty much taken a very passive result or, or, or um, a passive approach to our industry. So you know, when we look at the concept of, of purple cow uh, in terms of what are we as an industry going to do to help ourselves and stand out from the crowd, and it's beholden upon us to do something about that. So we have some fantastic assets. You know, we've got a VIP club that's got you know, 255,000 consumers. That is a wealth of uh, information that we can extract from and get genuine real data, raw data um, so that we can use and, and uh, prosecute our case. On top of that, we also use um, genuine independent third parties. Um, such as the likes of, of BDO and KPMG. They come with a very established brand, they come with recognition, and we make sure that the data that we collect um, when we use those types of organisations are done so, so that it's beyond reproach. Too often, information on our sector has been done on the basis of a back of an envelope survey. We need to, using government talk and using government surveys as the basis. Um, we need to collect the data as the way that the government would collect it in a quasi role and then we need to feed that data back with the hope that in the future the government uh, understands the size and significance of our industry and comes back into uh, um, our, as a genuine research partner.